the real chance that it could cause stupefaction and loss of critical thinking skills unless we really think this through carefully. We do not want to do what we've done to our students with social media and just let it open willy-nilly. That was a disaster for students and mental health and all the kinds of things that that brought. And that can happen. And honestly, it will happen with AI things for many students. But those of us who you know care about our kids, we want to find good ways to use AI because they're going to get into the job market someday and they're not going to be just having to work independently with just their brain, they will have a co-pilot with them, AI, to help them think and whatnot. So it's important that we teach them how to use it in a way that's, that's, that's good, not just from a, you know, academic integrity perspective, but from the way in the perspective of how to help kids navigate this new world. And this is, as I've written in other places, this is the fourth industrial revolution, and we need to rethink about what that's going to look like and that's going to change the world in ways we can't even conceive at this point, whether you like it or not. So it's so important that we teach them how to use it in ways that are going to help them thrive and become better humans more than we, than anything else. I mean, that's, that's, that's my heart is how do we teach them to use that? And yeah.